We begin with the results of the first independent investigation into the killing of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The UN Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial Killings recommends the Saudi Crown Prince be hit with sanctions. She says that's unless, quote, evidence is provided and corroborated that he carries no responsibilities for this execution. Well, Khashoggi, a critic of the Saudi government, wrote for the Washington Post. He entered the Saudi consulate in Istanbul on the October the 2nd and never came out. Our Jamana Karacha has been tracking these developments and joins us now from Istanbul, Turkey. And Jamana, this report is damning of Saudi Arabia and crucially the crown prince. Uh, talk us through more of the details. Well, you know, Christina, so far this has been the most detailed, most comprehensive report investigation to be made public into the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. As you recall, over the past eight months, what we have been getting uh, is leaks coming from the Turkish authorities, some statements being made by officials here, statements made by Saudi Arabia. But this is the first uh, independent type of investigation that was carried out by the United Nations top investigator for extrajudicial uh, killings. It's it's a months-long process for which she traveled to different countries, including uh, spending a week here uh, in Turkey. She was uh, allowed access to some of the audio recordings that we know Turkish authorities have. She went through forensic reports and uh, various um, uh, forensic reports and CCTV footage and spoken to uh, several intelligence officials. Uh, and what she has concluded, Christina, is that this was an extrajudicial ju killing for which the Saudi state was responsible. Now, she makes no conclusions as to whether the Saudi crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, uh, was guilty or not. But she does uh, say that there is credible evidence that further investigation by an independent authority must take place to determine whether the threshold for criminal responsibility has been met. And until that happens, until he is proven to not have been involved in the killing of Khashoggi, as you mentioned, and she recommends uh, targeting him uh, with sanctions. And of course, in this report, it's more than 100 pages long. We are still going through it. Uh, we are finding out some new grisly details about the killing uh, of Jamal Khashoggi, part of the audio uh, recordings that Turkish authorities shared with Kalamard. And uh, that includes uh, prior to Khashoggi's uh, uh, arrival at the consulate, uh, discussions taking place between members of that hit team that were dispatched uh, from Saudi Arabia. Uh, there's one uh, really disturbing conversation uh, according to the special rapporteur between the forensic expert on that team and one of the senior officials, an intelligence officer who was part of that team where they discussed how to dispose of the body, how to dismember the body. And this was 13 minutes prior to Khashoggi entering the consulate. And he's referred to as a sacrificial uh, animal and then the discussions go on after he enters the consulate uh, more details about that audio yeah. recording uh, where you know we learn more about how he was killed Christina yeah a really disturbing details and as you were saying this report coming out just in the last hour but has there been any response yet from Saudi Arabia to this or or even from the US government Uh, we have not heard. Uh, CNN has reached out uh, to uh, the Saudi government. We're waiting to hear back from them. It is very important here to point out that, you know, the Saudi position in all of this has been uh, describing this as a rogue operation. We've heard that also in recent days with the Saudi foreign, uh, um, the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs uh, telling CNN that this was a rogue operation. They continuously denied that the Saudi Crown Prince or uh, high, uh, high level officials were involved involved uh, in the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. And this is also uh, one of the frustrations you can see in this report from uh, Agnes Kalamard, where she says that she continuously tried to get more information from Saudi officials. She wanted to visit Saudi Arabia along with her team uh, for uh, interviews with uh, the uh, detainees there, the, the, 11, uh, the 11 suspects who are on trial in Saudi Arabia. And she says that uh, the Saudis did not respond uh, to her request and then again frustration with the uh, shifting narrative that we have heard from the beginning from October 2nd from the day that Jamal Khashoggi uh, disappeared so we'll wait and see what 
uh, the Saudi officials will say about this, but their position has been clear throughout, describing this as uh, a rogue operation that did not involve the Crown Prince or any other senior uh, officials there. Yeah, and we will wait and see what comes next and if indeed there will be any repercussions. Uh, Jamana Karacha there live for us. Thank you very much, Jamana.